I want to say simply but sincerely that we are sorry and I wish to assure them that while my administration continues to hold their trust, we will do everything we can do to end the nightmare experience with St. Jude Hospital and to ensure that it is never repeated. On January 18th, 2023, Prime Minister Honorable Philip J. Pierre tabled a motion in Parliament to debate and examine the recommendations of the St. Jude Hospital Reconstruction Project Review Committee. The review committee was appointed in 2021 and comprised a seven-member cohort of professionals who analyzed the events surrounding the St. Jude Hospital Reconstruction Project initiated after the fateful fire of 2009. So in spite of the million dollars, the million dollars that were spent, just, just for him not to continue a project so that he could not continue the mandate of the government at the time, Mr. Speaker. So we found why the project was not continued. Pure political retribution. So you allow the people of the country to suffer, you allow $118 million to remain on the ground because you do not want to follow the mandate of the last government. Expenditure for the St. Jude Hospital Reconstruction Project accelerated from an initial half-million-dollar First Works contract awarded in 2010 to an estimated $98 million valuation by the end of 2016. In 2016, construction was halted for nearly three years. Consequently, the Phase 1 site, along with already procured materials and equipment, deteriorated. By 2019, the St. Jude Hospital Reconstruction Project deviated from the Phase 1 trajectory. In less than three years, between 2019 and 2021, Phase 2 was erected at an estimated cost that exceeds $100 million. Nearly completed buildings on the Phase 1 site, valued at approximately $7 million, were demolished to accommodate Phase 2 construction. They did not want the people of St. Lucia to be in St. Jude only because St. Jude was being constructed by the government of the St. Lucia Labour Party. The only reason why. So they allowed the inventory, and I challenge them, I challenge them to say that this, that is not true. The inventory, apart from you damage two buildings, you, you bulldoze them, seven million dollars. You have millions of dollars of inventory, you're allowed to rot and you're allowed to spoil, Mr. Speaker, because you want to practice political retribution. And now, we are still trying to salvage part of it, but we may have to throw it away. Millions of dollars of equipment. What did the committee recommend, Mr. Speaker? The committee recommended that we should not continue work in the second phase, which I'm going to refer to now as the box. The review committee's findings and recommendations would also inform the peer administration on the way forward to completing construction. However, various government-funded audits and technical reviews on the St. Jude Hospital Reconstruction Project have unanimously concluded the previously abandoned Phase 1 project was salvageable. Furthermore, the transfer of St. Jude Hospital operations from the George Audlam Stadium could have been facilitated from as early as 2017. They are pretending that there was no money to complete the original St. Jude Hospital, Mr. Speaker. But let me tell you what. They spent $89.3 million. Let me tell you where they got the money from. $10 million loan, which is the same loan we took in October 2014, $10 million US dollars loan, and a $20 million US loan in January 2020, Mr. Speaker. So they had... $30 million worth of cash available to complete the original St. Jude. $30 million US. US, Mr. Speaker. Prime Minister Pierre has endeavored to do what his predecessors did not in the last 13 years, 
complete the St. Jude Hospital reconstruction project, guided by technical expertise from a diverse group of professionals, the roadmap to completion has been plotted. Currently, the first phase of the resumed St. Jude Hospital reconstruction project is advancing. The subsequent construction phases will address and correct design flaws and eventually bring the entire facility into practical completion. Every man and woman in this room and every man and woman of goodwill, our motive, Mr. Speaker, our aim, our objective, which we will do at the soonest possible opportunity, is to move the people of St. Lucia from the George Odlam Stadium and put them in better conditions. That is our singular most important mission and vision, Mr. Speaker. From the office of the Prime Minister, Rihani Isidore.